turn the ball over 26 times, send them to the foul line 30 times, you're not going to win. And if I could take a picture of uh, the pregame and the things that we talked about, keys to winning the game, we talked about taking care of the basketball, not giving them second chance points once they had eight offensive boards in the, in the first half and not putting them on the foul line. And we did exact, we took the script and did exactly the opposite of what we had to do to win the game. It's very disappointing. Uh, we talked this team all, all year long about being different. We want to be different than the other teams that, that I've coached. And, and we, want to, we want to do things different. And we want to know what we have to do going into the game. And we want to be able to perform that. Learn, prepare, perform. And we didn't do that. Uh, we had open shots we missed uh, that we've got to make. Um, we turned the ball over way too much. I mean, everything that we couldn't do, we did. And uh, I mean, credit to them. Uh, they got after us, they made things hard for us, and they made big shots and big plays when they had to. What, what about their defense was a partial uh, cause the turnovers? Was it just a lot of unforced things or were they just disruptive on their end? I felt like a lot of it was unforced because, I mean, we worked on it. We went over it and we went over it and we talked about how they're not even trying to necessarily steal the ball. They're trying to run shot clock, but we just sped up so much and put ourselves in bad position time and time again. But again, our guard play wasn't good enough today and it's got to be better. That's, that's the bottom line. I'm not, I won't sugarcoat anything. The, the, our guard play was not good enough today. Coach, um, <clears throat> teams have done a really good job in this first five or six games scouting Macy Turley. Um, I hate to ask a negative question about it, but she's up to 25, 26 turnovers now. What are teams doing defensively to really keep her out of rhythm? I know she's scoring well, but a lot of turnovers, especially today. Yeah, I mean, they're just hounding her and they're putting a lot of pressure on it. Most of the time they put a quicker, bigger guard on her. Uh, and so, but you know, I mean, Macy will be the first to tell you, she's got to do a better job taking care of the ball. I mean, she's as disappointed as anybody, I guarantee you. Uh, but you know, she's going to handle the ball a lot, 90% of the time. So, I mean, the turn, there's going to be some turnovers, but we've got to be better about taking care of it. And, uh, you know, but we have to have other people that step up and handle the basketball as well. And, uh, you know, we don't have people right now that have, that are confident enough to say, Hey, let me have it. They're hounding everybody else. I'll get the ball up the floor for you and get us in some simulants of offense. But, you know, it's just very disappointing to turn the ball over that much. Booker and Sawyer combined for 29 off the bench. What did they do um, to just have such an efficient night? Well, I mean, they're, they're two kids that, that, you know, haven't played. I mean, Sawyer hadn't played in a game yet. Uh, come, you know, came in ready to go. And I, I mean, that, that's one thing that bothered us tonight is, you know, we have been outscoring people on their bench. We've been able to bring in spark and scoring and, you know, Hannah was out. You know, we finally get her back from the protocol. She has a great game at North Alabama, sprains her ankle this week. So, I mean, sometimes you got to be lucky. Sometimes you got to catch a break, but not having her out there tonight hurt us. I mean, it's obvious. Uh, Caitlin had to play too many minutes. Uh, some of our guards had to play two minutes, but other people have to step up when somebody's down because with this year, we don't know what's going to happen, whether it be energy or COVID. There's going to be nights that we don't have certain people. And I felt like that that was one place that they really beat us bad was their bench points compares to, compared to ours. And they scored 21 points off our turnovers. I mean, I'm going to harp on that. Sorry. Uh, Coach, uh... I understand turnovers are the thing, but I would assume you talk a lot about rebounding in this program. Uh, what do you think was the biggest difference from an offensive rebounding standpoint, especially in the first quarter? Because I felt like that's where Austin P at least tried to hang in early with you guys making so many shots. Yeah, they had eight offensive boards the first half. And I mean, and that's just effort. Rebounding is effort. And, uh, and that's something that we preach. That's something that we harp on. We probably run for rebounding or lack of rebounding in practice more than anything. But we've just got to continue to rebound the basketball. But we didn't do a really good job in the first half. I think we maybe ended up out rebounding them for the game. But, you know, we get in a situation where we get them to miss two free throws with the game tied. Don't block out on the free throw. I mean, little things like that kill you. But it's the difference in being a good team and a great team. And right now, we're not a great basketball team because great teams take care of the ball, they rebound, and they make shots when they're open.
you struggle offensively, obviously, with the turnovers, but defensively, you guys hold them pretty well. What did you see out of your defense today? I thought our defense was pretty good. I mean, uh, we, they only made five threes. They're averaging 10 makes. Uh, I didn't think the defense was the issue. Again, we missed shots that we should have made. Uh, and then 26 times we have the basketball with a chance to score, and instead we give them the ball. So, I mean, that's 26 possessions. So the reason that we've been scoring 80 points a game is because of the number of possessions we've been getting. Well, 26 times today we didn't get a shot off. And so again, you're going to go back. To, I'm going to go back to that because that is the problem. That was the problem today. Coach, after a loss like this, what's going to be the big thing you guys focus uh, coming up to Belmont? Well, we have 19 games left, so we can either work, continue to work and continue to get better and attack the next 19 games, or, you know, it's going to be up to us. To, we've got to continue to work. There's several things that we've got to get better at. We Individually, we've got to get better at things, and as a team, we've got to get better at things. So we'll go back to work tomorrow. Uh, we'll work for the next two days. Our kids are going to go home for Christmas. I think that some things are bigger than basketball, and, and in my belief, Christmas is a, is, is a holiday that you celebrate and you spend time with your family, so we're going to let them go home. But it's going to be about what they do at home because when we come back, it's not going to get any easier. Belmont's one of the best teams in the conference. So no night in the OVC is easy. But, you know, we've got to be different. If we're going to be successful, we have to be different. And tonight we weren't different. Coach, do you expect Hannah McKay's absence to be lengthy or is that undetermined at this time? I'm hoping she'll be back from Belmont. I mean, I told you, know, she had a severe ankle sprain. Greg, our trainer, he's great. He did everything possible to get her back, but she just wasn't able to go. But again, we cannot be down and out when we have one person out. Other people have to step up. We didn't get a lot of production from the four spot tonight, and that's a problem. We, we can't, we, we, we've got to be a complete basketball team and able to make up when people are missing, and we didn't do that.